There are subtle signs to look out for in your child that may reveal that they are in need of glasses, an eye expert has warned. According to eye care expert Giles Edmonds, it is not uncommon for kids to mask issues they may be experiencing with their sight. The expert highlighted some common behaviors that may suggest your little one is struggling, such as squinting in one eye as if searching for buried treasures, otherwise known as the pirate impressionist. Another telltale sign may see your child tilting their head to extreme angles when reading a book. This is known as the head titler and it may be sign your child is due a trip to the optician. The warning follows research from Specsavers that found 35% of 1,000 parents of kids aged 6 to 15 polled said they worried about their children trying to cover up their bad sight. A lot of parents assume that because their child doesn't display any signs of a vision problem, Terry's no need to have their eyes tested, said Giles Edmonds, director of clinical services at the eye care company. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. Ensuring your child has regular eye examinations from an early age is incredibly important for several reasons. Given more than 80% of our learning, cognitive and social abilities are facilitated through our sight, it's extremely important to your child's overall development. Poor eyesight can cause learning and behavioral problems. Conditions such as squinting and amblyopia, lazy eye, can be treated more effectively if they are picked up earlier, which could make a huge difference to your child. Lastly, an eye test doesn't just check vision. It can also detect other underlying health conditions. The poll found that the top concern for parents was their child sitting too close to the TV, 48% followed by holding a book too close when reading, 45%, as well as frequently complaining of headaches, 42%. However, 39% of parents polled admitted to overlooking these potential warning signs, with 40% claiming they had never considered their little one may need glasses, as well as 21% confessing they have never taken their child to the opticians. A total of 33% stated that they prioritize other health appointments for their child over eye health, with doctors, 66%, dentists, 52%, and vaccinations, 49%, taking main priority. However, 97% stated they wish they had spotted the signs earlier. The research revealed that the average of a parent first visits the optician with their child is 6, despite experts recommending a first eye exam takes place at 3 and a half years old. Of those who had not yet taken their child to the optician, 63% stated they did not seem to be experiencing any issues, with 31% assuming that routine tests were completed in school. Notably, 14% identified fear as a barrier to not getting their child's eyes tested, with 28% worried about their child being picked on at school for wearing glasses. While 52% attributed it to a fear of having their eyes touched. The poll, carried out via one poll, also revealed that 21% of parents do not feel informed about the importance of eye health for children. Singer and presenter Rochelle Humes, who has teamed up with Specsavers to share her experience about her daughter's eyesight issues, said, Alaya has been complaining about her eyes and that she wants to sit at the front of the class with her friends so she can see better, she also says that her eyes are blurry every time it's time to go to bed. I honestly have been dismissing it. I thought she was strolling going to bed and wanted to sit at the front of class so she could gossip with her best friends. Turns out I was wrong. She needs glasses. How do I feel? Awful. What are the telltale signs of vision problems in children? The eye rub maestro eye rubbing is a sign of tired eyes at any age. If you notice your child rubbing their eyes while focusing on an object, 
it could indicate eye strain, which could be due to an uncorrected vision problem. The Reading Rebel If your child is reading below their expected level this could be a sign of several vision problems. Children who have issues with their eyesight may also repeat the same line twice, lose their place or use a finger to guide their eyes. Holding books or devices at a distance can support long-term eye health, keeping these items at a length of their knuckle to their elbow is a good guide, as holding them too close can be problematic. The eye strain star Sometimes there are physical signs such as straining eyes, closing one eye or holding objects too close or too far away. If kids are straining to see the board at school, they may also get frustrated which can mean they are disruptive in lessons. All these things can indicate problems with vision. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages. The Headache Hero Your child might experience more headaches, especially when reading. When you look at objects or screens at close range, the muscles in and around your eyes need to work harder to focus. Over time, these muscles can get sore and tired. Similarly, squinting for a long period may tire the muscles around your eyes, which can lead to headaches. The Head Tilter If your child has perfected the art of tilting their head to read a book, it's a sign they might be hiding issues with their eyesight. Close Encounter Enthusiast If your child makes a habit of sitting too close to the TV, this could be a sign they are struggling to see the details. Sitting too close to the screen could in turn cause additional eye strain. The Pirate Impressionist If your little one is often seen closing one eye when completing tasks, they may be doing this to favor their stronger eye and could highlight an uncorrected vision problem. The teacher's pet sitting at the front of each class to get a good view of the board could be a sign your child is struggling with their vision.